Good afternoon. We're going to look at the Dow at the moment. We are going to go from the daily out to the monthly chart, just so you can get it into a bit of perspective what happened yesterday. Yes, it's a whitewash, for sure. And if we scale along the base of this chart, okay, and we look at, I've taken it from that point. There wasn't much in it, to be fair, but I've taken the Fibonacci's from that point, and we are just about on it now. That level is 255.72. Our low went to 255.93. Now, obviously, we just chart the cash session only. We don't look at what's going on outside. I mean, I do look at it, but for charting purposes, I don't because I'm a great believer in Wall Street does what it wants to do. Now, there were little clues as to why the Dow fell like it's, like it's done. Maybe not like it's done, but why it was going to fall. When the Dow made new high here, you see this bar here, and that happened on the 3rd of, of October. It made a new high, it closed at the lows. Now, the S&P and the NAS had already topped out, right, double tops, but the Dow kept going. But once you get a market that makes a new all-time high and closes at the low, alarm bells ring. That, that is your very first clue. You're looking for something that alarm bells will ring. We saw the divergence here. I mentioned it on numerous occasions that the market was looking a bit toppy, but we didn't have a clear pan on the Dow like we did the S&P and the NASDAQ. But when it did make that all-time high and it closed lower, the writing was on the wall. I didn't expect the writing to be on the wall quite so violent and quite so quickly. But if you look, the cash didn't go below its 38.2. Now, markets, when they're in a strong uptrend, can retrace 23.6, 38.2. It shouldn't go any further in an uptrend. Well, this is only the daily chart going back, well, let's just take the year. You know, we all know. We all know what happened in the beginning of the year. Now, it reached its yearly high, failed. It went up there, made a new high, failed. So, now this is where it's gonna head for, okay? It wants to reach its yearly low. Now that would, in actual fact, break the uptrend on a daily chart. But let's just take a look at it a bit more longer term. Now, this is on a weekly chart, so, so it's a little bit more longer term. If we look at our weekly moving averages, you can see <laughs> I'll say, the blue one is coming in at 26,000. We've got the 21-week period coming in at 254.35, and we've got this here. The 23.6 coming in at 242.76. So not only did the, it do that on the day, if you look at last week, we actually closed lower on the week. So again, you are getting the signals. It's whether or not you're listening to them and you're reading the market correctly. You know, obviously when you have a day like yesterday, nobody can foresee it moving that quick in that short space of time but it does now we're into the world of the electronic trading and you know most of us prop traders have been dispersed or died you have got this electronic trading systems that activate stops at certain levels so we're going to get these big big ranges when the market goes against the, the primary trend if you like because as I said, most of it is electronically traded. So, you know, we, we've made a rod for our own back because you can't go back to how it was. You've just got to learn to go with what you see. Charts are charts, but you can see yesterday the panic. And really, was there any reason for that panic? I don't know. I'm not a fundamental trader. I just saw the Dow, the NAS and the S&P was topping, that's it. And when markets top at all time highs, you have to take notice. 
if you don't it's at your peril and I think this is what has started the crumble now if you look at that on a weekly time frame you can see that you know it's not as bad as what we had over here at the beginning of the year this was a bit of a naughty one to trade this one here and this went on for quite some time this trade war really played out in the markets you know because it wasn't played out anywhere else but it was played off of Dow down 600 points in the morning up 600 points by the night time you know Wall Street will step in can we break through that 25435 at the moment we are trading at 25448 so we really are not far off of it but as I've said you've got to wait till Wall Street opens personally looking at that chart I think it looks a sack and I do think we are going to come down and we are going to test the yearly lows even so even if we do get down towards this area okay it does not break the uptrend it doesn't make it look good but it doesn't break the the long-term uptrend which I will show you in just a second so now we go to the monthly chart where you know most traders don't look at they, they don't and it's a real shame because unless you know the direction of what the market is going you can't trade accordingly now we are we are on course in the Dow for a reversal month that isn't great unless it climbs back and holds above last week's closing price which was at around uh, 10 um, hang on a minute let me get it my eyes are so not what they used to be so we've got to close back above last week's close which is at 26458 if we don't do that we we really are in the mess we really are our first area that we will be looking at will be 25046 on the longer term you know this goes back to 2009 which is when this trend started it's making this which we all lived through in 2016 look like a little blip on the horizon which it really wasn't you know but if you look at the weekly ranges these were quite scary but so is this this is quite scary as well as I said the Dow made a new high it hasn't sustained it it's going to close lower on the week will it close lower on the month if it closes lower on the month we're really in the mess okay so we'll keep our eyes on that one I'm not even going to give entry levels to sell it today because I just want to see what they do when they come in and how they're going to react to what's happened overnight okay great I'll catch you all tomorrow